friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Doodly Has Plans. In today's video, we are setting up my budget for the month of March in my classic happy planner. So let's get started. Alrighty friends, so for the month of March, I am going to try to make a kit out of this little kit here. It's from Orange Umbrella Co. It is kit number 111 and it's called Birthday Bash. I chose this one because March is the month of my birthday and so I thought we would just kind of get started. All I did was order the wide washi here, the savings tracker, and the sinking fund. So that's it. We are going bare bones this month. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my pages because it's so much easier doing this outside of these ginormous rings. Just gonna pull all the pages that I need to get started with. Okay. Put that to the side. Okay, so I have the monthly view here. And let me see this washi. I'm not quite sure how I need to, if I need to trim it, or I wonder if I put this all the way down here. Oh, maybe I'll do that. I think I'm gonna go like this. I'm okay with these little kind of purpley polka dots. That doesn't bother me. But I'm gonna need some days of the week and I'm hoping that I still have some. I'm pretty sure that I do from a Fern Creek stickers kit. Oh, that goes all the way across. That's fine, I'm gonna leave that just like that. And then, I love being able to take pages out of the book because you can pull it in really close. Okay, cool. And then I am just going to, yeah, I think I'm gonna let that run all the way across. And then I have a sheet of monthlies here and I'm just gonna pull March off of here. I don't need the year because I know what year it is. Let's see, why don't I put, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put it way over here. I love things left aligned. I don't know, I'm just kind of crazy that way. Okay, so that's that. And then let me see if I can find my days of the week. Perfect, so I have these from Fern Creek Stickers. And let's see, start with Sunday, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna put these and then go to Monday. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Tuesday was Mardi Gras. Okay, Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. And then last but not least, Saturday. Okay, there's going to be a lot going on too for March. Okay, so now I need to pull two highlighters. Okay, so for highlighters, I pulled this Smiled Liner, which is kind of like a trying to pick up on the gold. And then I pulled my trusty Tombow 772 for the pink. And so I want to kind of start marking through what I'm going to do with each paycheck. And then I'll take care of this little guy down here. So let's do pink first, I guess. So I always have on the first. Oh, you know what? I'm jumping ahead. Why don't I put some payday stickers down so we know when I get paid? Okay, we'll just use these from, I'm gonna put this down here and cover up the Mardi Gras because that's not quite important for my budget. These are from Planner Kate. So I'm just using those up and then we get paid on the 15th. So I'll put this one down here. Okay, so now I always have on my first paycheck, let's see, we always have allowance my half of the tuition payment, and then I do half of my auto loan. And then Netflix is on the 13th. I'm just gonna highlight this, but I have a little sticker for that. And then I am going to need to get some new heart guard and next guard for Otis, but I'm thinking about doing a food trial for allergies for him. And I might not end up getting that because he can't have that if he's on the food trial. So, but he does have his Optics Care, which is one of his eye medications, that's on a like a automatic renewal. 
or reorder on the 12th. And then school registration is going to be due here in March. I don't know the date yet. It's already fully funded. I just don't know the date. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to mark that as something that's coming out on the 1st. And then I also want to pay at the beginning of the month um, Emma's Land Cruiser registration. So those are kind of things that happen at the first paycheck. And then my second paycheck, again, I'm going to have allowance for the girls. I'm going to have my tuition and the auto loan. Okay. And then Disney, I also pay on the 15th. So I'm just going to move it over here next to it. And then we also have iTunes here towards the end of the month. Okay. And then my mom's birthday is here. My nephew's birthday <laughs> is here. I have to get his wish list. And then this is my birthday. So there's that. And then, like I said, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the heart guard and next guard, but I think that's sort of the base. I do wanna put in Otis's food trial for his allergies. And I think what I'm going to do is I will do that probably here because I do need to speak to his vet one more time before we start that. It's just basically we put him on like this special prescription food for like six to eight weeks and we figure out like what he's allergic to or not allergic to. So I'm going to start here with filling in all of these. So allowance, tuition, Auto loan and then the Land Cruiser registration and then I'm gonna put school reg here and then this one was gonna be Otis's food and then the 12th was his this is from Chewy I think that I found this care. Okay, and then here I'm gonna put my Netflix. Okay, so I have my Netflix. These are from Phoenix Plants. So I'm gonna put this one here. And then let's go ahead and fill in for paycheck number two. Again, we've got allowance, tuition, I've actually bumped up my auto loan a little bit. So what I do is I split it, right? Half of it goes in the first paycheck. The other half goes in the second paycheck. The actual due date for it, I think, is like the 22nd. So it works out because I'm cutting down on the interest by paying half of it early, right? And what I did was I figured out how much it would be for me to split it. And then also I added to it so that by the end of the year, I will have made an extra payment. Well, I've slowly been incrementally increasing that by like rounding up like an extra $3 or an extra $2 or so I'm, I'll have to see at the amount I'm paying now, if it'll be like a payment and a half extra at the end of the year. So just kind of trying to like knock that down where I can while still trying to be able to take care of all of my other responsibilities. So, oh, and then here is Disney. So yeah, cause I really want to get my, my intention is I will get my car paid off early. So that's Disney plus. And then this is my mom's B-Day. And then this is my nephew. His nickname is big. And then this is me. I was just put me. And then this is iTunes. Okay, so I have, last month I paid off all of the AP exams for the year. School-wise, I think we're in good shape. And then, oh, I know what I wanted to do. Let's add another one for, I'm going to do it here on this Wednesday. I'm going to add money. The girls have like a, they have like a cafeteria account. So I'm going to put more money in there on this day because I know they have a balance. They've still got money in there. So, but by this time they'll probably need a little bit of a reload on that. All right, let's 
go back and address this little guy here. I'm going to just kind of white out the sides here as best I can. Oops. And then I'll just white out the top here a little bit. Okay. And then I pulled the full boxes from the weekly kit that I'll be using. And I thought I would use this one with the candles because I liked it with the little hats here. And I'm just going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to white out the bottom here. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna leave just a little bit of a border. And I'm just gonna put this down like that, just to kind of cover that little flower box. Not that I don't think the flower box is cute, it just doesn't coordinate with my <laughs> rest of my kit. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for my monthly view. And then let's flip this over, and here is where I don't you really use this a lot, a lot, but up here where I put get it done, I will put where I want to apply my unspent cash. Okay, so then last month I put it to Christmas and to Otis, so I'm always putting some to Otis. And then I did get a haircut, so I want to put some more back into personal. That's the envelope where I take out like haircuts and getting your nails done, not that we do that very often, or um, dry cleaning. And then down here is where I've been kind of just tracking my FSA spending, which I did just pick up a prescription for Sophie, so we'll put that there. Okay, so that kind of takes care of it for that page. And then, so let's see, I've got this and this. And then I have my little blank page, and here is where I like to set up my savings trackers and my sinking funds tracker. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off and put this here. Oh, I think I'm gonna need to trim that just a little bit. I grabbed the tweezers. Did you see that, friends? What, what, what did I think I was going to trim with tweezers? <laughs> okay, hopefully I trimmed that enough. Yep, cool, perfect. Okay, so there's that. And then, let's see. Date, description, plus, minus, and balance. So we'll put this here. kind of overlapping a little. I don't really use like date. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the bottom down where the totals go. I'm just gonna put it down here, give myself some extra lines. I don't think I need this many. Okay, and then So let me just see how I want to do this. So balance, I'm going to give myself a little room here. We'll put some lines here and then I'm going to go here. Hopefully I don't see any negatives. Hopefully we just see positives for this month. Okay. And then description and date. So I'll just go ahead and put a line here. Okay, so this is where I keep track of my emergency fund. My E doesn't look very good there. And then we have my 401k, my Roth, IRA, and then we have M, her 529, and then we have Soph, her 529. Okay, so that's my savings tracker. This is a really sweet kit. I love this pale, pale pink. Okay, and then next, we'll put down the sinking funds on this side. So 
So I'm gonna line this here. I'm gonna trim that, I think. Actually, let's put this down first and see what it looks like, okay. It's pretty faint here. Category. Beginning. Okay, so that's that. And then let's just go ahead and put the bottom one down. I'm gonna put it way down here at the bottom. I'm not sure how many lines this is. I'm sure it's more than plenty. Okay, and then let me go ahead and draw some lines in here. So let's see. I'm losing ink in this pen. I'm going to have to refill it. That's what I love about these friction pens. They are refillable. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to the end though. And then let's do a little sticker. Okay. I'm going to make a little sticker here out of this one that says cash. Okay, I hope I can make it through. I don't know if I have another refill of this, but I hope I can make it through here with all of these. Okay, so first one is going to be auto maintenance and then auto reg. And then I have school registration and then I have school expenses. And then we've got Christmas, a planner conference that I hope to go to. We've got Amazon and I've got Canva and then we've got college tours, sports, Vacation, clothes, little clothes fund there. And then I will put down here the cash envelopes. Yeah, I did plenty, plenty of lines. So then down here is where I have Christmas again for cash. And then we have Otis and personal. I might have to run back over those lines again just to darken them up a little bit, but that's that. Okay, so that's both my savings tracker and my sinking funds tracker. And then now what I'll do is I will just go ahead and set this up. So this is for the first paycheck and this will be my payroll, which will go in here and then I will take my monthly view and look at what I have. So we've got allowance, tuition, and the auto loan. And then I have the Land Cruiser registration. So these are all due, I do these on the first and then I also will do auto and this will be gas and that's just throughout the two week pay period. And then we've got the school registration that will need to be paid. We've got school bucks that I wanna fill their account with a little bit of spending money. They bring lunch, but this is just like snacks before they go to practice, that kind of thing. And then OptiCare. That is on the 12th, and then Otis's food. Let's try to pull that on the 7th. And then I always leave some money in here for food, kind of throughout, and then fun for like ordering stickers 
and then just a little bit of miscellaneous just kind of throughout the pay period and then over here is where I do our food I do some fun money for like tickets and things like that and a little bit of miscellaneous and then I pull cash for Otis's savings and the personal envelope and then over here in my sinking funds I always like to make sure I'm putting money into the auto maintenance the auto registration school registration although I won't have to next year it'll just be school expenses because Sophie will be she won't she's a senior so we won't need to register another child after her and then I do always like to put money into Christmas and then I will take a look based on what my numbers are here and here and I will look at how many of my sinking funds can I put some more money into so like perhaps because college is coming up we'll put some money like that'll be more treated with more of a priority than say canva is because canva's not until like november and same with amazon and those are you know a hundred dollars i can pretty much pump that up pretty darn quickly so i'm going to leave this here for now as like major priorities and then we'll see if i can get some of these other ones a little bit of extra money thrown into them. Okay, so I think that's it, friends. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick these pages back in my book. Alrighty, friends, so I thought I would show you the index page for March. Isn't this cute? It's cool to be kind. So that's the index page. And then just looking back over at my monthly view with each paycheck highlighted and the things that I intend to use each paycheck for. And then we have here just sort of this dashboard where I kind of keep track of my FSA account as well as where I want to kind of uh, plans for my unspent cash, if there's any, and then my savings tracker, my sinking funds tracker, and then just the first paycheck and outlining based on the monthly view kind of where my money needs to go. Alrighty, friends, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.